have to be concerned about the kind of technologies and the kind of buildings that we are building and we have to look at the systems and how they're integrated and work together. These systems are not only cost savings, but they're good for the environment, but more importantly, they're important for our society. You know, energy efficiency obviously is one of the, the main driving factors these days on, on how to design a building. The building we're standing at here today is the Vermont. It's these two towers you see here. We have a 30-story and a 24-story tower. So what the system is here is a variable refrigerant flow system. The big driving factor of any type of air conditioning is the compressor. That's kind of what consumes most of the electricity. A typical air conditioning system will kick on and kick off. So a big building like this, you might have to start up a whole big central plant to run up just a couple units. So the beauty of this system is our compressors are variable speed. They can ramp up and down based on the demand of that building. If just one person turns on their air conditioner, that outdoor unit is just barely gonna ramp up a little bit to supply cooling or heating to that space. So energy efficiency is, is really high on these types of systems. We have a fan coil typically in every space with its own thermostat. So what we have in these systems, we have a single outdoor unit similar to what you would have at your house. And then as far as indoor units, we can mix and match all these different styles and we can actually put 64 indoor units on one outdoor unit. We have our thermostats, our seven day programmable thermostats so people can program the, the hours that they're gonna be in their apartment. So the real beauty of this system is if I've got a zone that's calling for cooling, what we're gonna do is we're gonna send a cold refrigerant to that fan coil, air is gonna go across that coil and it's gonna blow cold air essentially into that space. That refrigerant's gonna get warm, it's gonna pick up that heat that was in that space and it typically takes it to your condensing unit and rejects it. This system now is if I've got another unit that wants that heating, instead of rejecting that heat to the space, I can just direct that refrigerant to this zone, essentially turning this indoor unit to an outdoor unit and rejecting that heat into the space for free. Not only were we able to you know, save them a lot of space and noise in every unit, we also save them a lot of energy. I can see this having a big impact, not only in Los Angeles, but as an example in other parts of the world. We've got to do this and start seeing how these things are connected and integrate those systems. It's not just one thing, it's how they all fit together. The big solution is, is having different kind of green energy systems all being used to provide power for buildings. And it's available, the technologies are there today, and it's economic, and that's critical.